And now, we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. Greetings, Nostalgia Seekers. Today, I'm going to experience a popcorn brand that I felt intrigued about. AMC's Perfectly Popcorn. With me are the two flavor options. Classic Butter on the right, and Lightly Salted on the left. Although there's a third option called Extra Butter, I decided to pass on that and focus only the two flavors shown today. With that being said, let's compare them and see if they compete against other popcorn brands for the best movie experience right into your own home. For those of you who are health and nutrition conscious, let's begin with the nutrition facts. According to the serving size of one cup with popped corn, lightly salted contains fewer calories at 35 versus 40 on the classic butter. Nothing point worthy here. However, the fat and sodium levels are noticeably lower on a lightly salted version, which is good if you are prone to kidney stones and weight gain. The classic butter version fights back though, with 3 grams of carbohydrates versus 5, and it has 1 milligram more calcium, which helps maintain strong bones. Everything else are more or less the same. The on-pop side does not count, despite the lightly salted version's slight dietary fiber, protein, and iron advantages. Up next are the box appearances to see how nostalgic they look. At first glance, both seem fully loaded with popcorn buckets, theater-looking lights, and logos. However, the classic butter version stands out more with the appropriate color scheme in relation to the company logo, and the popcorn picture seems more pleasing to my eyes. Finally, both microwave popcorn bags have identical designs that scream nostalgia. So far, these popcorn flavors have gone neck and neck. But what about the taste test? That's where we'll find out after this. TMP Cyberlink Studios, possibilities are endless. With inspiration from up to 50 different companies slash franchises, we make speculations of intriguing slash family friendly dreams, hopefully to come to reality in the near future. Please help support our channel by giving a like, subscribe, Ring the bell icon and check out our community tab to experience destination nostalgia like never before. After a couple of minutes of popping and me shaking the bags like a jackhammer, here's how they look. At first glance, they both seem alright, though the lightly salted ones look a bit tougher. The more vibrant butter color is noticeable on the classic butter version, as they look fluffier and more appetizing to eat. The taste test? That's what we're about to find out, starting with the lightly salted flavor. They look tough, and yes, they do taste tough. Even when I try to get as much butter flavor as I could, the toughness seems like it's overpowering it. It feels more like a ripoff. Therefore, I do not recommend the lightly salted flavor. 
Now what about the classic Botter one? Does the reliable looking box art promise a good tasting popcorn? Well, due to my delightful exhale, yes. The butter flavor has enough impact to feel like if I were in the movies. The opposite can be said with a lightly salted flavor, since it has no nostalgic impact. So the nostalgic taste point goes to the classic butter. Indeed, there is a difference. It's a close race, but the classic butter version's taste makes it an overall winner today. But does it have competition against other popular popcorn brands, like Orville Rambachers or Pop Secret? You just have to wait and see. For now, I'd like to thank you for your attention and watching this video. We'll see you next time, as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia.